Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial we will learn about pengram checking problem. Problem statement given a string we need to check if it is pengram or not. Pengram is a sentence containing every letter in the English alphabet. Please note that lowercase and uppercase alphabets are considered same here. For example, if my sentence is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence is a pangram because it contains all the characters in the English alphabet. Considering another sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the dog. This sentence is not a pangram because it does not contain some characters like L, Z and Y. Coming on to the solution for this problem, Consider the string geeks for geeks. We need to find whether this string is pangram or not. We start by creating a boolean array mark of size 26. Here index each index of the mark array represents a character. For example, index 0 represents capital and small a, index 1 represents capital and small b and so on till index 25 which represents capital and small z. We initialize this array to false and then start traversing the string. When i points to g we make the corresponding element to be true then i moves to e and corresponding element is made true e is true k is made to be true, then s is made true and so on we traverse the whole string. After traversing the whole string, we start traversing the mark array. If we find any element to be false, then that means that the string is not a pangram and if all the elements are true, that means the string is pangram. Here we see that we have false elements also. So geeks for geeks is not a pangram string. Coming on to the code for this problem. This code is taken from geeks for geeks. We st the check pangram function takes as input the string and returns true or false based on whether the string is pangram or not. We start by creating a vector a boolean vector mark of size 26 and initialize it to false. Then we start traversing the string. If the current character of string is capital, then index is found by subtracting the character capital A from the current character. To understand this, let us take example of character capital M. To get the corresponding index, we subtract capital A from M that means the corresponding ASCII values are subtracted hence index for capital M is 77 minus 65 which is 12 similarly for small character index is found by subtracting character small a from the current character for example index for small a for small m is m minus a that is 109 minus 97 which is 12 hence the index for both small m and capital M is 12. After finding the index we make the corresponding element in the mark array to be true. After traversing the whole string we traverse the mark array and if we find any element to be false we return false which means the string is not pangram and if we traverse the mark, mark array successfully which means that every element is true, we return true which means the string is pangram. Time complexity for this problem is big O of n where n is the size of string because we traverse the string once. So time complexity is big O of n plus 26 for this loop. 
considering that n is quite large than 26 we say that the time complexity is big o of size of the string and space complexity for the problem is big o of 1 because every time we make an extra array of constant size 26 thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments if you have any doubts then leave them in the comment section also do subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button and click the notification bell to receive all the updates from our channel thank you